And, you know, Dan Patrick uh, or whoever runs his Twitter account, I don't know how that works for him. Um, you know, sometimes you see, like, you know, it's the whatever show, and it's just some random intern does the actual tweets. So I don't know how Dan Patrick's show uh, Twitter account works. Um, I, is that just his Twitter account? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. Um, like, it's just DP show, so I don't yeah. know if that's actually Dan Patrick or not. Uh, but, you know, they put out there yesterday – uh, sources say San Diego State's planning on joining the Pac-12. Conference also hoping to add SMU with Boise State and UNLV being long shot possibilities. So, you know, put as much credence into that as you want to. Uh, but, you know, that's still teasing the San Diego State SMU additions. And, um, you know, I've, I've found that long interesting because of what that would mean for those two schools and just kind of the dynamics overall. The addition of Boise State and UNLV here is quite interesting and I think makes for some fun speculation. I don't know how much I buy into that, which is why I certainly wonder who's actually tweeting this. Is it him or is it like a third co-host I mean, on the show? You they, know what I mean? I mean, one of those guys could have right. – they could report it and talked about it. And, you know, people call – Dan Patrick has people you can just call and ask directly. I mean – Yeah, they, but this, is, un, this yeah. is unsolicited. This is yeah. – sources say San Diego State is still planning on – this is a report from yeah. whoever's running the account. So – you know, I don't know if that's just kind of the same old that's been talked about or um, if there is, you know, smoke or if that's a PR move because don't get it twisted. The Big 12 is not the only one that's had like PR moves made throughout this whole process. Kind of like when you started hearing all of a sudden these these Pac-12 presidents all in the same week just just coincidentally started all talking at the same time when things got really dire, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so it works both ways. And, and so, yeah, that could be somebody from the Pac saying – nudge nudge wink wink you know the big rumor is because they want it out there or that could be like actually some you know inside info it's hard to tell you know over well, social be media san diego state telling him that yeah exactly like you yeah. call up like, somebody who knows calls up san diego state and goes hey well what's the plan here if you guys did this and then they say okay well um you know don't quote me on this directly but you know the us and SMU want to join the Pac-12. We think that's going to happen eventually. And then Boise State and UNLV are, are long shots to get there, which would put them, if they lose no one at, at 14, I would say the reason Boise State and UNLV would be listed as long shot is if they lost anybody. I don't see it, dude. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I actually, I, I mean, the UNLV thing, I could see just the Las Vegas, the long play there. I know some people try to convince the Big 12, uh, or at least talking to us, you know, the UNLV fans, shout out to you of why Phil. they try to convince us of, yeah, why they would be a good addition. And, um, you know, I, I understand why. I mean, that's a that's a hustling, bustling place and uh, sports capital probably of America in so many ways and will be that uh, the more we just embrace gambling like it was never a bad thing ever and it's now the greatest thing ever, uh, that will only remain the case and, and become even more so for Vegas. So if you think that somehow translates to UNLV or trickles down to them, then, yeah, I mean, you hold your media, you hold your, uh, your media days there be a hell of a time to announce UNLV, right? Um, but that uh, I need to see that happen before I, you know, I, I'm not gonna uh, buy into that until I see see the actual announcement because I I don't know. That just feels like if you were struggling to get a media deal, and all of a sudden because you're adding Boise State and UNLV and SMU and San Diego State, that's that's what set it off. I don't know, um, but that would be awfully interesting, and uh, you know I. If they were to do that because of where they are, I actually wouldn't hate that. I think Boise's a no go though. I don't. I don't buy into that. I really don't. Um, I know that their fans would love it and deserve it in so many ways, uh, but I just wonder where the additive is there. They're, they're but the Las Vegas get... thing, I can I can see that. Although I know immediately be like they have no fans, nobody cares. The, you know the academics or whatever. You know would be the typical response. But having a presence in Vegas, I can see the logic there. Yeah, Boise is trying to get ready to be a candidate for those things and they are close but i don't think they're they're in the in the spot where they could do it you know if the pac-12 called it tomorrow and said you're in they'd be like great but they'd also like shut the door and go okay we've got a lot of work to do <laughs> we've got a lot of work to do uh and look we we know their athletic director really well uh jeremiah dickey uh, is fantastic he's a young guy um and is is a you know a, a, a rising star in the industry but yeah, I mean they would have a lot of work to do to be ready tomorrow to do that. So I do well, think, buddy, if you're if you're not ready now, when are you gonna be ready? Because yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, I guess to start, I mean, like they're right. they're they're making the progress, but part of it is getting the donations in, sure, making sure, and part of joining a Power Five conference is not just everything you have; it is 
um, making sure that when you when you hit the ground, you can kind of hit the ground running as opposed to be behind the eight ball a little bit more, which you're going to be as a new team anyway, but don't put yourself behind the eight ball any more than you have to be. I think that's why, you know, they'd like it to be a little bit, um, you know, further along than they are. And they're close. I think they're close. They could easily do it in a year or so, I, I think. But, like, if it was one of those things that's like, you know, hey, we've got to announce this today, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't know what how much a difference a year makes for yeah. them. I mean, I feel like, you know, you've kind of been on this let's get into the P5, you know, train for a while yeah. now. So, I mean, I understand, like, you might not have every facility up to date, but as far as a game plan and infrastructure and stuff ready to go, if you don't have it by now, then don't cry when you don't ever get an invite. I mean, you've had advanced warning for years now. Same thing for Memphis. Same thing for everybody who's been, you know, San Diego State, BYU, I mean, yeah, not everything's going to be perfect, but I mean that you know whether everything's ready or whether you're just ready as an entity to make that move um, is two different things. And so, yeah, I would I would hope that for Boise State's sake, if there's a phone call, they're ready to make that move at a moment's notice, and they'll figure out the rest later. Um, because I don't know how many more phone calls there are going to be, quite frankly. And um, you know, the more we move along here, the more momentum there is for um, you know calling a, a spade a spade, and you know separating these teams more than they've probably ever been separated generally um, of, you know, not just not a power five, there's a power two, you know, there's yeah. not a, you know, and, and so I feel like we're moving more in that direction. And so, yeah, if you're not ready at this point, I, I don't know when that phone call's well, coming for you. And they, look, they might be ready. I just know that, um, you know, they were, they were still in the process of making sure that it, they had everything yeah, ready I just don't know if them being ready yeah. is still good enough, yeah. right, uh, for, well, yeah, for the you, pack. You've got to uh, be wanted, and the pack also, to take a school like to take a school like Boise State is going to, which there's nothing wrong with Boise State at all, but it's going to take a lot of humility on their part as well. Is them admitting like, oh, well, we need to be in Idaho now. You know, like that. that's, that's going to be a, a thing that the Pac-12 will have to swallow because – they have been, and that like what part of the reason they're in this spot is they are they are a little bit, and not that they're the only one, but they're they're pretty elitist when it comes to what they consider their membership. Oh, absolutely, and, that trickles down too. Yeah, and so because of that, like you're going to have to be like, well, you know, I know all this time that we said that we're not interested in A, B, and C, but maybe we were wrong about that, and that's hard for people at certain levels to do. Well, um, I can't relate. Uh, I've never been that pretentious in my life and never will be to, to oh man, I've, God, I can't believe we have to announce Boise's in the car. Like, I, I just can't relate to, to that level of nose in the air type of attitude. Um, you know, and maybe it doesn't yeah, ever occur anyways because they are of that mindset or because the fit's just not right. I don't know. But that was a report from whoever's running Dan Patrick show's Twitter account. Uh, Would have been nice if his initials were attached and you say, oh, that's Dan, so you can lend a little bit more credence to it. But I don't know about... I don't really know his uh, his whole crew, but uh, you know it's different if it's Dan versus whatever their names are. Uh, it's like Paul something, Paul Paps or something. Yeah. I think is one. I just haven't. I I, I don't mean that I mean, disrespectfully. I just yeah. haven't. A Andrew Perloff has his own. Okay, show there. Now, yeah, so, yeah. I, I just haven't checked in in a really long time. Uh, so yeah, that's not disrespectful. I just uh, I do give more more uh, credence to to Dan Patrick himself, and I know he's little. He's dabbled a little realignment things here and there like I've seen little clips of his show where he's he's talked about it from time to time and I don't know what his scorecard is like how many times it's actually led to something that's you know legit or if it's just whispers that come and go and we forget about them uh, but yeah I mean that was something that I, I saw last night and uh, the UNLV thing I think yeah like I said the Las Vegas play maybe that's a long-term move I don't know but uh, just another thing to throw into the big pile of rumors as uh, this saga you know, goes on into month 12 now, if not, you know, give or take a little bit longer than that. Yeah. Um, you know, we're going to play re replay Phil Bennett later, and I know we have to take a break.